Well, you just saw the face of a desperately tired champion. Well, when I say that, considering the pace that is, and here on the replay, it's uh, Nenny who is letting his punches go and forcing Savali to cover up. So into the second half of this 12 rounder we go and it's been fought at a furious pace and the seventh picks up just as it finished in the sixth. Jaji Savali forcing Nene back, working hard, pressuring his man coming forward. Nene has his mouth open, but I don't think he's tired. I think it's just uh, his manner of fighting at the moment. And he takes the right hand, which will open that mouth even more. Trying to measure Savali with that left hand, or with the right hand rather, to clear the way for his left. He's not doing a terribly successful job of it here at the start of the seventh. It's Savali who's really applying the pressure now. Well, after six rounds, I've got Sabali ahead on points. But it's close, Bert. They're throwing Sabali back onto the ropes above us. The referee separating the two fighters. Break. Referee Mbini, worth Break. a mention because he's doing a good Break. job here. Break. Again, Nene just pushing out that break, right hand. He's not really break, throwing break. the punch now. It's there to try and break Savali's rhythm as Savali comes forward. But it's not really a punch go, anymore. It's go, more of a push. Go, yes, that's that's a problem, go, Nick. Uh, there's, there's no snap go, behind that uh, right jab of Nene. He's almost like using it to measure uh, Savali. And, and to break Savali's rhythm as Savali comes forward. Yes. But I don't think it's that effective now. Sabali waiting for the opportunity to unload, and uh, there's no question about it. Sabali landing the more effective punches. Well, Nene shakes his head, but he got the warning. And uh, Nene dropping in a little left hand there, and another left hand. Good punching by the challenger. Sabali pushed to the canvas with the shoulder. The referee Mbini hasn't put a foot wrong. He picked it up straight away. Sabali does take a good left hand from Nene. Nene tries to capitalize as he has Sabali on the ropes. But Sabali's a real champion. He's got a champion's heart. We saw that against Bilboa. He'll fight back when he's hurt. And now the Uten Hague support trying to get behind their man Nene. And it's almost like pro wrestling in the corner. And the, re the ringside has gone onto the open of the ring, just been chased off. The crowd are going wild here, Nick. Well, I'll tell you what, we're used to seeing a lot of emotion down here at the Orient Theatre, but I don't think I've ever seen so much emotion ringside in a title fight. Play. This is furious. Play. Savali missing, coming up short with that right hand. Nene Play. again tied up by Savali. Play, I agree with you, Nick. Uh, very difficult fight to referee. I don't know why. Shit, man. Shit. Take a look at some replay from round seven. A difficult round for both men. And as much, oh, this is when uh, Sabali lost his balance. That, def that was not a knockdown. And referee Mbini picked it up straight away. Zim Guni very slow out of the corner. 
Georgi Savali up off the stool, meets Nene in the centre of the ring, and again he's tied up Nene. So straight away they get to grips, and, and when I say grips, they actually tie each other up on the inside. And now Nene's trying to let his punches go to the body, to the head. Well, again, it gets very untidy in centre ring. Referee Mbini has his hands full, separating the two fighters. They're only small men, but they are very, very hyped up for this fight. South African title yeah. fights these days seem to have a lot more energy and I think part of the reason is a South African champion knows these days that uh, providing he continues to box successfully he could land himself some sort of world title shot and I think it creates another dimension in South African boxing yeah. yes and of course when you have a needle match and that's what we've got here this afternoon uh, and with lots of crowd support I mean this this hall is packed to capacity with uh, supporters from both East London and Newton Hay. The atmosphere is electric. Well, when lost, did we say uh, a spectator in the ring during the course of a fight? That just gives you an idea of the, the needle, as you say, Bert, in this fight. Stop! Stop! You're pressing him down. All right. Hold on. Well, Sabaldi seems to have a problem with his balance Ray. because every now and then he seems to lose that balance. He nearly went down yet again. He has got a wide stance, and that might be one of the reasons for it. Break! Stop! Stop! He's locked Stop. Uh, the hold in, in his hold right hold arm, on. and the uh, referee had a warning for that. Nice combination by the challenger, Nene, there. Savali's still trying to come forward, but he's taking a lot of punches to throw his own. He does get through to the challenger. And once again, they hold on, and referee Mbini has all sorts of problems trying to separate them. Leoni Bungu is on his feet right next to me, and both fighters are off their feet. What an extraordinary fight this Look at this, and Nenny trying, well, it's Sabali trying to strangle Nenny while they're on the canvas. Oh, goodness gracious, man. Well, that'll give you some indication of the intensity of this fight. It really is intense. Somebody's got a tire at some stage in this 12 rounder. Well, they haven't let up yet. And the thought crosses my mind, Nick. Uh, this is the most ill tempered fight I've seen since Mike Skitter fought Kerry could see. That's a long time ago. Stop, stop. Was Savali coming forward went right over the top of Nenny and Nenny went then on top of Savali. In wrestling, I think it's called a fall, but or a press, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it looked very, very unbecoming. <laughs> Well, I see welcome Nito at ringside, shout in advance of Sabali. Leoni Bungu has left us here, he just can't stand this. He's gone to, uh, I think he's gone to get closer to the uh, Sabali corner. Yeah, he's shouting advice too. In fact, everybody's giving advice to these fighters. But Nene is not without his support either. And that's what's making for the atmosphere here. There are a lot of Utenhag uh, supporters here, Brave. Nene supporters. Once again, Sabali ties up his man on the ropes. He gets a warning from the referee. But it hasn't just been Savali tying up Nene. Nene has had to tie Savali up on occasion as well. How are you scoring this bout, Bert? Well, at this stage, I've got Savali ahead on points, but only just. It could go out of the way, Nick. And I'm still looking for one of these two fighters to tie. Well, that doesn't look as though it's going to happen. They're obviously in superb Break! physical condition. Break, man. And very, very hyped up indeed. Now, 
Savali quite clearly has lost a lot of his rhythm. Oh, he just caught uh, Nenny with a short right on the inside, but big, man, big, you can see big, this has big, become big, more big, of a mole big. than anything else. A mole, a brawl, call it what you want. It's a great, great fight. Well, it's got most of the crowd on the edge of their seats. Play, 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 man. I, I suspect play. that Sabali has played play. into the hands of Nenny because I think this is the kind of fight Nenny wanted. I must say, I thought Nenny would box a little more than he has, to tell you the truth, but, play, but play, you could play, well man. be right. Yes, he's, he's, he's working on the inside. He does play. let his punches go one or two at a time. And then, of course, they get in these kind of clinches. Even the referee's having a job separating them now. This time it's Nene who gets the warning. Savali coming up short. Nene over the top. Again, we're not seeing clean punches landing. A lot of wrestling. But the clean punches in this round, few and far between. Yes, I think you could count them on the fingers of one hand and so that fingers left over. Savali ripping in a couple of good shots from the body. Those were clean punches. Nene replies to the head. And again, straight left. That was a good punch. And another. Break, 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 break. If you discount all the uh, holding and uh, mourning, I think it's been a useful round for Nene. Break. Savali is very break, quick to rejoin. Break, 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 break. He gets on top of Nene straight away. I've got the men even on my scorecard, and you can see why in the replay. Little to choose between them. And uh, whilst Sabali caught uh, Nenny with a good left hook as he came in, invariably Nenny would come back with a good punch of his own. <laughs> Nene up off his stool, first of all. Savali taking in a couple of deep breaths there, comes out of his corner. And Ziem Guni pats him on the back, throws him back into action. Savali with a good right hand. Nene took the punch well, but now he holds on. Well, Savali also dug a good right to Nene's body. That will take a lot of steam out of the challenger. This is a very good start to the round by Savali. I thought between the, the uh, rounds, Savali actually looked the tighter of the two fighters, but he started the round well. I can't believe we're here in the 10th. The rounds have just flown by. These are the important rounds. This fight is very, very close, and a strong finish is going to win it. Well, again, they're, uh, they're at each other inside, tying each other up, trying to, uh, trying to land something effective, but nothing really happening there, but... Sabali had locked the uh, right hand or arm of uh, Nenny, but Nenny was working with the left with the left on the inside. As you, as you can see, once again, they've locked each other's arms, and very little can happen when they do that. They could always trip each other, of course. Well, they better not hear you, Nick, because they're not trying. <laughs> Both men wrestled each other to the canvas in one of the earlier rounds. No knockdowns in this fight. Savali, short right hand, that scored. Nene with a missing uh, a right hand return, counter punch. Break, break. Well, this is hardly what you would call a showcase break. for boxing, but it's been very, very entertaining nevertheless. 
and the crowd have loved it. No, both fighters have brought a lot of heart to this fight, a lot of determination, and that's always going to make for a good contest. Savali trying to get his punches off, but Henny's right on top of him, and of course they're once again locking each other's eyes, so that makes things very difficult indeed. Nene slipping on some water and then taking a right hand from Savali in the corner. A lot of water down in that corner. Savali drives home a right hand to the body of Nene. Stop! 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 The what holding, is happening the when get to close quarters because they lock each other's arms and the uh, referee invariably has to separate them. Savali the champion, Nene the challenger. But a close, close fight here. Nene lands a good left hand at the bell. Both having their moments in that round. Savali's uh, corner and, and there's a lot of water there and he lost his footing. This time round it's Savali up off the stool first as we head into the 11th. This fight drawing to a close has provided great entertainment. It's been ill-tempered, hasn't exactly been classic, but a lot of commitment. And once again, toe-to-toe -to -toe in the center of the ring. Both fighters struggling to free up those arms and punch. Savali is drenched in water. This corner must have poured a brave, bucket over him. The referee and Beanie, and I think he's quite right, would like to see the fighters fight their way out when they get inside. But he had to separate them there. Because he's, he's got little choice because there's so many clinches. And when they do clinch, they lock each other's arms and nothing happens. So he's got to separate them. And he's doing that right now. I think this referee's done a very good job. He has indeed. This has been a very difficult fight to, uh, to referee. And I think he's handled it well under the circumstances. Well, I'll tell you what, if we go to a decision, it's obviously going to be close. Um, I'd like to see how the crowd takes it, because they're pretty much split down the middle here. I'd, I'd say Sabali has the majority of his support, but Nene has got his supporters too. Yes, they're all very vocal. And, uh, I'm not so sure I'd like to see how the crowd react. <laughs> but I think we're going to have to. This seems to be heading for points, unless somebody can come up with a big punch. Yes, it's going in that direction. I've got them even after 10 rounds. I can't even separate them. So I don't envy the judges. Well, Nene was digging away to the body inside, but Savali landed a short right. And a good left hook goes in from Savali, although it's Nene coming forward. Well, that was certainly the best punch of the of this round so far. And it's the odd punch like that that will probably decide the round in favour of one boxer or the other. Yeah, because it's quite obviously a clean punch. And we're not seeing too many clean punches. So they will stand out in the judges' minds. Nene, another clean shot. Left to the head. Straight left. Savali drives in a right. Nene comes back with his own punch. And forces Savali back onto the ropes. You know, we both thought that Savali would be the stronger fighter physically of the two, but Nene has matched him in that department. Yes, he invariably forces Savali back. That's a surprise. And we also thought Savali would finish the stronger of the two, and that's not necessarily so. Well, the referee nearly took a Savali left hand there. 
Nene again driving Savali back onto the ropes, but it was more a combination of the shoulder and the, the punch that he'd thrown, not really landing, that uh, pushed Savali back onto the ropes. Short right from Savali in the center of the ring. That was a good punch. And that tape has come badly loose from Savali's gloves as Nene pushes Savali back onto the ropes. A good finish for the round by the challenger. Siam Guni working on that uh, tape coming loose from the glove of Georgi Savoli. We don't want a stoppage in the 12th round. We'd like to see this fight go through to the belt. Well, I think we are going to go to down the wire to a decision. <laughs> the crowd are in a frenzy here in the Orient Hall. <laughs> Got some replay from round number 11. A good round for Nenny. Kept on pressing forward. Not always landing cleanly, but uh, making life very uncomfortable for Savoli. And As invariably backing the champion up towards the ropes. Especially at the bell, but Nenny finishing very strongly. Yes, I think he did enough just to edge that round, and uh, that means on my card anyway, he's one point ahead at the end of the left. Well, you're a brave man, Bert, to read out the scorecard here because uh, the judges really could be seeing it the other way too, just as easily. Oh yes, this is a very closely contested fight. Twelfth and final round. The crowd has been singing, chanting, stamping feet, urging these two fighters on. And they haven't been disappointed by what they've seen. to back up in this 12th round. They both like to be coming forward. Well, Nene coming forward there, but really wrestling his man onto the ropes, not doing it with punches. with the referee he's got a lot to say for himself he's had words with his corner the referee the spectator who came into the ring well, my impression oh that's not a knockdown that's no knockdown you can see a referee being a ruling it out but my impression so far is that this has been a good round for Zabali. and on your card he needed one being a point behind yes that, that would make it even and that would make the fight a draw but <laughs> interesting to see how the judges score it. You've got to bear in mind again that old saying that a champion has the title and it's up to the challenger to take it. Well, it's the champion who's coming forward here in the 12th and final round, doing his best to let his punches go, not always having that opportunity because uh, Nenny, as you can see now, leaning on him and forcing him back towards the ropes. There's so much water down on this ring canvas. It's making life very difficult for the two fighters. It's more like an ice skating rink at the moment. Both fighters are absolutely drenched in water. And the corners haven't helped them at all by putting so much down in the corner. Well, the fighters trying to free up their hands, but no, no luck really as they wrestle their way into the neutral corner above us. The ball is still trying to these punches. Go, so there's the bell. That's the fight over. Now we await the official decision, Nick. Take cover, Bert. Take cover, because whichever way this fight goes, unless it's a draw. I think we're going to have mayhem here in East London's Orient Theatre. That could well happen. I, I've got the fight even after 12 rounds. I simply couldn't separate them in. And it'll be very interesting to see whether the judges have managed to find a winner. Uh, in the event the fight is a draw, uh, Sabali would retain his title. 
I think a draw would be a fair reflection. Both fighters gave their absolute all. The intensity in that fight was something to see. Well, you have some replay from that last round, and you see Sabali driving Nenny back towards the corner. And then Nenny letting his own punches go. He didn't do that too often, unfortunately. But uh, in this playback, this uh, replay, he's forcing Sabali to hold. Well, I think that slow-mo just summed up the whole fight. One fighter would get on top momentarily, the other would dig deep and come back. Yes, both had their moments, uh, but they weren't... Uh, they were very fleeting moments, let's put it that way. They, they never really, the one never really dominated the other. Uh, quite a nice uh, left from Nenny. But uh, this sort of action was never really sustained for a very long period. And I would think, uh, Nick, that there was probably a record number of clinches in this fight. I think that they really mauled and, and, and clinched and uh, held more often than I've seen in, in a 12 rounder for a long time. I tend to agree with you there. This ring here at the East London Orient Theatre always sees a lot of action. But as you say, so many punches thrown in that fight. Still the champ. That's what the banner reads. I wonder. I wonder. Oh, he could be right. Well, newfound respect between these two fighters. They'll be friends for life after this one. Yes, they fought their hearts out here this afternoon. More replay from that last round. Uh, no, that was not from the last round. That was from an earlier round. And in fact, Nene urging Sabali to get up. He knew straight away that that was a, a bad slip. Well, Sabali hasn't exactly got the look of complete confidence on his face, but then uh, neither has Nene either. They're yeah. both interested.